All right, guys, thanks for joining me on my video tonight. I am going to do another beard product review. This time, we're going to talk about the Locks Hair Wax Company. This is a, uh, this is a company that, that reached out to me just several weeks ago and asked me if they could send me some products uh, to review, and they wanted my opinion on them. And uh, so before I gave them a solid answer, I went to their website and checked them out, and immediately I was impressed, I was enthralled, and uh, I responded to them and said, absolutely, send me whatever you want my viewers to look at. Uh, whatever I can put in front of the, fr the front of their face is going to be good. So um, send me as much or whatever you want. And that's just what they did. And when I got the package in the mail one afternoon, I was like a kid on Christmas morning. I, I was just sitting on pins and needles every day waiting to get this thing. Um, so I'm going to talk to you about that. I'm, and, and hopefully it will excite you and pique your interest likewise. Now, if you find va value in this video, if, it, if you find it helpful at all whatsoever, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, do that also. You can also share this video with others, okay? That would be very helpful. You could also consider donating if you like, and there's a link below in the description box. Make sure you always check the description box after you watch these videos so you don't miss anything because they're usually jam-packed with some information that you're going to be able to avail yourself with uh, some products by, by virtue of just checking that out. So make sure you check the description box. Now, I want to say before I get any further... A big thank you to Chris McHugh. Chris, you you, uh, you donated to this channel the last time I made a video. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. Uh, anybody that does donate is going to get honorable mention on all of my videos. Not all of them, but I mean on, on a future video. So um, keep that in mind. I do appreciate it, Chris. Thank you very much. Now, moving on, let's talk about the, the, um, the Locks Hair Wax Company's products. Here's what they sent me, and this is what... I thought was so captivating about them. First of all, their presentation was amazing because because of the labeling of their products, uh, it was unlike anything else I've ever seen. They look like collector's items. All right, let me just throw up in front of you uh, before I describe them. Let me just throw up in front of you what they sent me. There was two different beard balms. Okay, one's the Calvary Cut, and the other is the Rifleman Row. This is uh, sweet tobacco and sandalwood, and this is. Uh, fresh northern mint. All right, I'll talk more about that in a second. And then they also sent me a uh, post shave balm that is lavender and tea tree. It's called bayonet butter. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? This is such interesting artwork. And then also they sent me some here. Uh, <laughs> they sent me some hair and beard pomade called battle wax. Look at that. It's impressive, isn't it? I like that. I figured you would too. And then they sent me some all natural body lotion called Black Diamond Salve. Okay, let's see if you can get a good gander at that. All right, now this is what, seeing these right here, right off the bat made me interested. And believe it or not, they have a whole lot of other uh, tins and, and um, themes that they, they have. If you go on their website, they have some collections that you need to look at. So this is just scraping, I mean, I'm sorry, this is just the, the tip of the iceberg here. So these are pretty impressive, just, just visually speaking, these are impressive all by themselves. So I've got a, I've got a body lotion, hair and beard pomade, hair and beard pomade, I don't know why I'm having a hard time saying that, uh, two beard balms, and a post-shave balm. And then they also sent me three different beard oils. This is a citrus crisp uh, scent, uh, by, it's, this is called Golden Combi Beard Oil, but it's citrus crisp. And then they have one called uh, Munnin Beard Oil, and it is orange and cream. Okay, Munnin Beard Oil, orange and cream. And then another one, Huggin Beard Oil, which is balsam fir. All right, those are the three they sent me. And then they sent me some uh, brushes and some combs. I'll, I'll get into that in just a minute. So let's talk about the beard oils uh, to begin with. Um, let me go through them one by one. Citrus Crisp smells really good. Um, if we're talking scent, really clean. Um, let, let me, let me read off the, uh, I actually remember to bring my reading glasses this time. Can you believe that? Okay. Here's what it has in, in the, in the ingredients. Sweet almond oil, apricot oil, red raspberry seed oil. I've never had a beard balm with red raspberry seed oil in it. Okay. Watermelon seed oil and fragrance oil 
uh, blend. And um, yeah, this is a very nice smelling. Um, I, it's hard for me to describe. I, I have a hard time coming up with descriptives, but I do like it. And it's not, it's, what I've noticed about all three of these beard oils is that when you, when you uh, put them into your palm, they're not real thick and they're not real thin. They distribute very easily and, um, and, and makes it easier to go through your beard. The Munnan beard oil, which is the orange and cream, I love this stuff. It smells exactly like the orange cream sickles that you got when you were a kid. Um, man, I, this is the first thing I put in my beard. This is the first thing I put in my beard when I got it. And I was very happy with it. It just smells so delicious. And this one has um, avocado oil, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, hazelnut oil, and essential oil blend. Um, yeah, orange and cream, very nice. In fact, what I want to say about this is I don't know anybody else that has an orange and cream beard oil. And that's... Um, What's the one thing I thought was unique? Now, there may be somebody out there that has that, but I haven't run across it. And um, and I, I really like this a lot. This is my favorite of all three that they sent me. Then they have the balsam fir. And uh, the balsam fir has um, argan oil, sweet almond oil, hemp seed oil. And it and it smells like the outdoors. In fact, this is the more, most outdoorsy one they have. And it smells like uh, a Christmas tree. It smells really good. It smells delicious. Yeah, that's that's nice stuff. You're gonna like this. They all they all um, spread very well in your hands and in your beard, and you won't have any problems with them. Um, yeah, those those are really nice. Now, the let me get onto the balms here because I don't want to spend a whole lot of time doing this. I, I'm I'm I have a time issue here. Okay, so the two beard balms they sent me were the Calvert Cut and the Rifle Row. and um, and I talked about this one in another video before. This is, this is a sweet. Sweet Tobacco and Sandalwood, Fresh Northern Mint. Let me talk about this one first. I know somebody who's going to love this because this is very, very minty. And the, the person I'm talking about has been looking for something uh, this minty, you know, um, that that's not obstructed by a lot of other scents. Um, this is, I've, I've been using this one more than the other one. It ugh, It's so refreshing. And um, it's nice. It almost... It almost opens up my sinuses when I when I wear it. Not quite, but it, it takes me right to the edge right there. And I, I love that. It's, it's nice and strong, but it's not overpowering. Okay? Now, the, the Calvary Cut, the Sweet Tobacco and the Sandalwood, this is is wonderful. I've said this before. I really, I like anything tobacco scented, you know, and um, because tobacco generally always has a somewhat of a sweet smell anyway. Um, yeah, that's that's wonderful. Here's what I will tell you about. Here's what I'll tell you about this, and you can see I've used uh, you know a modicum of, of this stuff. Is that um, you use this sparingly because this is a very strong scented beard balm, and it, this scent will stay in your beard all day long. And when you when you comb through your beard with a wooden comb, it will stay on your comb. The, the scent of it, it's very strong. So you want to use less of this, I would think, than you might want to use uh, than you might use of some other beard balm. Uh, so keep that in mind if you get this. Is it worth getting? Absolutely. I don't see any problems with either one of these. Um, what they have in the ingredients here is uh, the very first thing on the ingredients list is shea butter, then mango butter, local beeswax, which I like, coconut oil, jojoba oil. Um, yeah, it's yeah. So the beeswax is like third on the on the on the ingredient list. Its base is shea butter. Uh, but man, that's that's really nice. You want to use this sparingly because uh, it's very strong. But you will like it if you like anything tobacco scented. Um, the fresh northern mint, the rifle Monroe. It has uh, shea butter, mango butter, local beeswax, coconut oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E. I mean, pretty much the same thing. So you're getting the essential oil, the the scent from the essential oils. It's it's really nice. I like them both a lot. In fact. These, I think, uh, separately, I think these are like uh, $15.99, but you can get them both together with a, um, with a little comb for about $28. So you are saving some money when you buy them together. All right, now, what I tried next after that was the, uh, the Bayonet Butter, which is a post-shave balm. I, in fact, I used it for the first time, I think it was uh, yesterday. I used it uh, on my head because that's the only thing I shave now is just my head. 
I'm gonna start letting my cheek line grow in a little bit more. I'm not shaving underneath here anymore. So the only thing I shave is my head and I use bayonet butter. I think, oh no, it was last night because my wife remarked on it. This is lavender and tea tree. I was, I was uh, happy to get this because I've been saying for a long time, I wish I could run across some beard oils that had lavender in it. I, I love the smell of lavender. It has a, it's supposed to have a relaxing, uh, cathartic effect and, and I, I believe it does. And so I've been wanting something with lavender in it for a while. You put this uh, on your skin and it's supposed to not only uh, moisturize your skin, but it's supposed to be able to brighten the ink on your tattoos likewise. That's what they, that's how they advertise it. Uh, but this is really nice. The lavender in this, in this is, is uh, quite evident. It's just great. I, so after I spread it on my head, I, I um, also distributed it on my arm and all over, you know, um, on my cheeks and everything. And then um, my, my head actually felt moisturized for the rest of the entire night, even the morning when I got up. So this does its job. I really like it a lot. If you like lavender, if you like tea tree, this is going to be right up your alley. But uh, look at that artwork. I just love that. That World War I uh, doughboy looking character on the front. It's pretty neat. So that's cool. That's really cool. Then uh, I also tried the uh, the Black Diamond Salve, which is um, a, not, a, a body lotion. Which, you know, these two I could, I could see using them almost, almost interchangeably. Uh, so let me read the ingredients on these real quick. Uh, they're pretty much the same, uh, basic, uh, ingredients, uh, shea butter, mango butter, coconut oil, local beeswax, vitamin E, uh, this one, the, the bayonet butter also has jojoba and avocado oil in it. Uh, it's going to sound kind of weird, even though it says it's post shave and face moisturizer, it, and this is all natural body lotion. I don't see why you couldn't put this in your beard. I don't see why you couldn't put these in your beard. I mean, the ingredients are good. I mean, it's what you're already putting in your beard anyway. And so um, they're really nice like that. And I've been, you know, I've been anytime in the past with any of the beard balms I've used, whenever I have uh, excess residue on my hands, I usually put it on my head and my skin anyway, you know. And a lot of you guys have been doing that for a long time. Now, the Battle Wax um, Hair and Beard Pomade, I have not used this yet because, as you can see, you know, I don't have hair on top of my head, but you, I could use the the pomade on my beard, yes. But I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I have a couple. I have a son, a, a 13 year old son. He's getting ready to turn 14. He's very particular about his hair, so I'm trying to encourage him to uh, to use this soon. So I, I can't remark on on uh, on this too much. You know what I think, but it does smell really good. To me, it has a vanilla, almost a. It says it's a medium sheen classic hold. It has, to me, it smells like uh, vanilla with a, a hint of some kind of a nut. And uh, I don't know if that's what they're going for. I didn't I didn't read on their website what it's supposed to smell like, but that's what it smells like to me. It smells really, really good. And so uh, this also has a local, the, the very first ingredient in this is local beeswax, then shea butter, sweet almond oil, vitamin E, botanical oils, and essential oils. So, yeah. It's, I, I, I trust it. I trust it. It's good. I just haven't used it yet. So there you have it. There's, there's those tins. And I just think that they're, they're impressive looking. Um, if you go on their website and look at their collections, they, they have a whole bunch of other stuff, uh, other tins. And, and I kind of want to order them all just to have them. In fact, you know, once I get, once I've used all the product, I probably will not throw them away. You know, they're, they're nice to have. I mean, they're really, really cool. It's a cool look. Um, they also sent me a few combs and a beard brush, the, the, the bristle brush that has their, um, I don't know how well you can see it, it has a, this uh, etched into the, into the wood here, this guy, the, the skull, the beard, and the, of course the, the, the wolf head right here. It's really cool, but this uh, bristle brush is like, uh, let me see, it's $13.50. If you don't have a bristle brush and you need one and you're ordering anything, something anyway, you might as well get one. It's good for brushing the oil throughout, oil the balm throughout the beard to the ends of the hair. So, um, yeah, I mean, most most beard companies offer this anyway. So you can get this there for thirteen fifty. You can compare prices. They sent me a couple different beard combs, and this one, you know, it has the insignia on the on the front of it. And um, this one's ten dollars, and this one's eight dollars. This one's a little bit bigger than this one. All right. So they're reasonably priced. 
Because sometimes wooden beard combs can be, they can get kind of expensive, to be quite honest with you. Now, here's what else they sent me. Let me take my glasses off. Jeez. Okay, here's what else they sent me. This is really, really cool. So they sent me this hat, this Lox hat. Um, what do you call this? Uh, what they, let me, what's this hat called? I can't remember. Anyway, look at this. This is really cool. And um, I'm really grateful for this. I'm also wearing your, your shirt. Okay. Order of the Locksman. Twenties are er, the twenties are back. Stay sharp, stay savage. Nice shirt. And then uh, they also sent me a second shirt. And I've been wearing this thing um, a lot. So I'm very happy. I'm very happy with everything they sent me. They've been very generous. I like them a lot. I've been I'm taking advantage of all of it. Uh, they sent a couple stickers uh, along with it. And um, it's a cool. It's a cool company. I mean, they have a cool image. Uh, it's run by um, veterans, and a portion of their sales go to nonprofit military organizations. That's a, I think that's a, sending a very good message, likewise. And so you can check out all the prices on their website. I was gonna, I was gonna spend some time doing that, but I've already spent more time than I want to. Here's the good news: if you like these things as much as I have, and, as in, uh, and if you're as, as impressed with them as I was, you can take advantage of it by um, going to their website. Uh, that you'll find down below, and if you use my code GREG10, you'll get 10% off of anything on their entire website, all right? So make sure you check them out. Um, there's just somebody I'd never heard of before, but I'm pretty impressed, and, I, and I, um, I'm and anxious to, to get more stuff from them and see how they continue to grow and where they're going to go with this, and they, they, have a bunch of, they have a bunch of stuff. So they have more hats than, than that more t-shirts than this and and uh, it's just good quality stuff so make sure you um, look into that all right guys I hope you've enjoyed that I hope it's something that you're that's like I said I hope it's something you find value in and um, and make sure that you uh, you like this video before you before you leave I do appreciate your time uh, make sure you check out all my other videos I have a lot of non beard related videos that you might be able to uh, find value in likewise so having said that I am not gonna labor this anymore i'm running out of light i'm running out of time i've enjoyed it guys thank you very much i will catch you in the next one have a great night bye, -bye.